Good evening, internet, or whatever applies to when you're watching this. I am Cat Tiger from Blind Cat Blues, and welcome to another voiceover point of view episode of Let's Play Time Crest by the Sneaky Crab. So last we left Ash, we ran and hid in the library to get away from the dude in the black cloak who has an apparent hatred for apple trees, apparently. And bookshelves. Uh, yeah. Maybe he's anti-vegetarian, I don't know. Boom, boom. Yes, that was a bad joke, I apologise. Okay, so, let's get into this, hey? 11.07pm. Time crest. Active. Time crest. Active. Time crest. Active. Time crest. Hopefully you can find... Chapter 1. 20 time crystals. What? 150. Zero Irelia. Messages. Head it. Go for it. Good luck. Okay. Ellipsis. Let's see. Ellipsis. His face is hidden by the hood. Ellipsis. That's right. Ash was sneaking close to see if he could notice anything about our uh, mm, stalker. To see if the magic book, whatever it's called, could identify him uh, when he reappeared in the library. And apparently nobody's noticed. So, He's scratching his hood. Yeah. Wait a minute, ellipsis. I think I see something on his hand. Let me get a bit closer so I can. Found make out, out he is. had a Voldarian tattoo. It's just a message. Ash is Same no as way. Riley. But it is. I recognize because I've I'm seen just going to skip through this action. because I mean, this Riley is in my last movie. The actually did, uh -oh. Three exclamation marks. E. Ellip one. The shelf behind me, but I rolled to the side. Now I'm running. Going to use up all the luck you wished me earlier to Here get out go. of this one. Here we go. Message. Really Ash off. is running. I'm at the time crest administration chambers. I ran all the way here and reported the incident from the lot. They are sending Oops. a minute. I ran all the way here and reported the incident from the library. Ash ran to the time chambers. They are sending administrators to investigate right now. I find it funny that they actually I believed him. I saw the Vortorian tattoo I saw on the hand of the hooded figure, Ellipsis. And that's actually what I need your advice on right now. Princess Riley just walked into the chambers escorted by administrators. They might have brought her in for questioning because I told them about the Vortorian tattoo. I might just check the speech rate for you guys. Vertical navigation. Speaking rate. Try and meet in the middle somewhere. 50%. Alright. 55%. Yeah, let's leave it at 55. Okay. They are going to have further questions for me too. Do you think the hooded figure could be Princess Riley? Ash Maybe. A palish blue dust yes. I do I think it could be Princess Riley? Oh, no well, there was a whole clan that had these the tattoos then. Riley. Two, two responses. Button. You know, it obviously doesn't look like a girl, so. Yes. A hooded figure is I don't think it is. No but it I don't could think be. Hooded figure is Princess Riley. Two, no. Two responses. No. Button. Not until it's proven, right? Descriptive help. No way. So, but let's go with answer number two. No way. I don't think messages. Heading. Image. No way. I don't think the hooded figure is Princess Riley. I don't want to believe it's Princess Riley either. Maybe someone is trying to frame her. Descriptive help. Maybe. Button. Someone is trying to frame her. Could be. Music player. Button. History. Button. And she's the last survivor, so... If they can't obviously kill her off, maybe they can just discredit her or something. Settings. Button. History. Button. Oh, change in music. Settings. But history. Button. Music player. Button. Descriptive help. Button. Maybe I dropped it while I was running. Ellipse at O. Oh. Ellipsis, uh, and everyone knows the princess is the last Baldorian. Oh, Ellipsis, I just realized that I lost my inventory pouch. Maybe I dropped it while I was running. Ellipsis, or it might have gotten disintegrated along with part of my cloak. Good thing I wasn't carrying anything valuable in there. Ellipsis. At least I still have the wind tome I borrowed. Ellipsis. After you told me that you wished I could cast Levitos, I wanted to see if reading this tome would give me clues on learning that spell. Haha. Uh -huh. It'd be no items found. After you told That's me that you wished I could cast Levitas, that. I wanted to see if reading this time would give me clues on learning that spell. It'd be extremely cool if I can send that wooded figure flying with Levitas if he or she attacked me again. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. The wind time is imbued with the aura of wind, acting as a springboard for beginners to learn basic spells. I've read these times before and stopped when I became frustrated that I couldn't learn any spells. But somehow when you told me your wish, I felt fired up to keep trying. Hmm, good on you. Administrators are coming my way. Well, 
Princess Riley is following them. Ellipsis. Hmm, interesting. Oh, Ellipsis. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, we have another wait. Ash is busy. Four minutes, 42 seconds. Four minutes, 42 okay, seconds. Alright, guys. The see Where you the soon after the, the break. Agreed, these and welcome back when I became frustrated that I after learn the break. Spells. The wind tome is imbued with your it'd be extremely cool if I can send the hooded figure flock. The wind tome is imbued. I agree. Try and find where we left off. When you told me your wish, I thought administrators are coming my way. Huh? Princess Here Riley is following them. Oh, system message. Ash is busy. I hope they release Princess Riley soon. The administrators took me into the same room with her and asked me if the tattoo is the same one that I saw on the hooded figure. I told him it is the same one. So now they the suspect the Riley. tattoo in a different place. But the tattoo is in a different place. Also, I told them that there is no way that Princess Riley is the hooded figure. Hmm. She would never hurt anyone. Riley didn't say anything, but she was smiling at me. I feel horrible getting her involved in this. But I hope that by telling the administration about the Vortarian tattoo, they can spot and apprehend the hooded figure faster. Well, I'm sure if she survived, then maybe some... Nobody survived. Possibly hiding out somewhere or out of town or whatever. Plus, Riley is innocent so she has nothing to fear. Then the administrator showed me out and told me they need to speak with her more. I'm told to wait by the statue of Master Chronos in the middle of the chambers while they go find a replacement cloak for me. I asked the administrators okay. for a pouch too, but they told me pouches are not standard handouts so I'm out of I hope we can lose everything in our inventory when that crazy Apple guy, well that's what I'll name him, Apple guy, uh, disintegrated our pouch, I hope the items didn't go with it. What's this? There's a huge crowd gathered in the chambers. Not that I, I had wonder many. what they're all here for. Holy Muffy, you're not going to believe this, but I think the crowd is talking about Master Kronos. Was he just here? Is he still here? Oh, the celebrity's in town. Ash is waiting. A palish blue dust circle, I believe it. One of two responses. Button, no way. Someone I haven't met, don't know too much about, might be here. That's super, super exciting. Three exclamation marks. Two, two responses. Button. Oh, yeah, that's quite cynical and uh, sarcastic. I quite like that response. Let's see what happens when we choose this. No way. Someone at messages. I probably wouldn't have chosen this if I wasn't uh, doing a Let's Play on YouTube. Um, I probably would have chosen the first one, but, you know, it's a bit of fun. Zero Irelium. Messages. Heading. No way. Someone I haven't met, don't know too much about, might be here. That's, um, ellipsis. I can sense you being sarcastic. <laughs> I like that. Well done, Crab. You made me laugh out loud. For me. Might not mean the same thing to you. Though I'm trying to stifle my laughter right now. You have a good sense of humor. I like it a lot. Wow, ellipsis. The chambers was nearly empty when I got here earlier, but now there are tons of people. It's like everyone dropped what they were doing to come here when Master Chronos came. Let's see. Ellipsis. Or what? Ellipsis. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he left already. Ellipsis. Maybe he's just really short. But I see majors from his fan club, known as Luthor's supreme devotees, grinning and blushing at each other. They look happy. It's a sign he must have been here. There are other powerful mages in Alansia, but none that have achieved popularity and adoration like Master Kronos did. I guess it helps that he's extremely good looking and much taller in person, Ellipsis. I'm actually wondering if he's here to discuss Riley. Hmm, possibly. The princess has been under Master Kronos' protection since her empire's destruction and lives with him on Ion. I've always wanted to see Ion, but it floats 30,000 feet above Time Crest. I would need the teleport spell to get up there, which I definitely don't have. 30,000, hey? check with the merchant shop at time crest to see if there are teleport orbs available for purchase ah uh, the teleport herb orbs i um i've played this through a little bit on my iphone and it seems all i do is buy potions and teleport orbs i suppose they're a um necessary item in the game but yes it seems to be all i do is spend money on teleport orbs god knows how i'm supposed to save up for that Ring. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just cheat and buy a, buy some crystals or something. It's, it's a good game. I don't mind supporting these guys. Hang on, Ellipsis. An administrator is approaching me. Looks like they have my new cloak. Ash is busy. Twenty-five seconds. 
25 seconds. A new cloak, eh? What colour did he get? Is it black? I hope it's not black. I apparently haven't got a good um, thing going with black cloaks lately. <laughs> I'm waiting. Looks like they have my new cloak. Go check with the merchant shop at Timecrest to see if they're paying on. Ellipsis. An administrator is a pro. Looks like they have my new cloak. System message. Ash is busy. Something else I can't believe just happened. Ellipsis. Descriptive help. What was that? Button. Music player. Button. Descriptive help. Button. I asked the administrator who gave me the replacement cloak if he had any updates regarding the hooded figure investigation. He told me that when they went to the library there were no traces of any disturbance. Okay, that's weird. See? He's like, I don't know, creepy invisible or something. Or they're in hoots and they're covering it up. And even though the library was crowded, no one remembers seeing a hooded figure. Yeah, that's really weird. He's like, I don't know, invisible or something. What is going on? Oh, there's a Harry Potter thing that's just, um, reference. It's just itching to get out, but I'll hold it. Good thing, though, is they're letting Princess Riley go soon. Oh, the administrator did give me a pouch along with my cloak. I thought they told me pouches were standard handouts. Ellipsis. The one they gave me seems really high quality too. Way better than the one I lost. I guess I lucked out. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. Cloak of in invisibility. I'm not sure what's best for me to do now. I'm kind of embarrassed by how much trouble I caused for Riley. I'm not sure. The only thing is, I'm kind of embarrassed Oops. by how much trouble Jump I caused for Riley. Again, then. I'm not sure if I should go apologize to her or something. Ellipsis. The only thing is, I'm not sure when they're going to release Riley. Hmm. But I also should go back to the Grand Library and see for myself what's left there. It's observed no one saw what happened. The administrator surely missed something. Ash is waiting. A palish blue dust circles the screen. A stammer you're on wait for Riley. One of two responses. Button. Hmm. Okay, choice time. Go back to the library and look for more clues. Two of two responses. Button. And I'm going to pause here and check how we are going for time and add up the learning time. And I will be back to either play another choice or to end this episode. See you soon. And welcome back. And no, you're probably not imagining things. The camera angle has changed. Um, the stand fell down while I was on the break. Damn thing. Uh, don't buy your stand from the little kiosk thing in the middle of a shopping center, guys. Uh, yeah, they, they're, it's falling to bits. But anyway, uh, let's continue. I'll do one more choice. So, go back to the library and look for more clues. So I reckon we should go back to the library and look for clues because that's just just weird. The dude vanished a whole bookshelf so yeah they could possibly the be messages heading image hiding something or i don't know i could make a pun of the uh so-called uh administrators in this game uh seeing less than i can if they didn't notice that a bookshelf was missing but uh anyway i won't do that feel free to imagine that i had Messages. Heading. Go back to the library and look for more clues. It might be dangerous to expose myself in a spot we know hooded figure isn't afraid to attack. But well, there might be more clues hidden there that the administrator's missed. But if he's invisible, then it's not really safe anyway, is it? So. Even though my legs are hurting from running here earlier, I'm going to run to the Grand Library. Oh, I'm getting. I'm thinking there's going to be a wait time here. Why didn't the administrators here? find any traces of the hooded man? I mean, ellipsis. I saw him dissolve a whole tomahawk shelf. I'm actually speaking of tomes. Ellipsis. I want to get started on learning Levitos. I feel a renewed Levitos. sense of determination with you around. If I could establish a connection to your world, then maybe I can learn other spells. And if I'm going to continue being a mage, I really need to learn another spell besides the one that breaks the law. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a smart idea. Only if I didn't have this hooded figure chasing me around, then I can concentrate Do on learning the spell in my and save myself from expulsion. 11.30pm. Well, ellipsis. First things first, got to power. stay in one piece if I'm going to learn anything so time to head to the Grand Library and find more clues on hmm, this hooded sorry figure. Sorry guys, I think I must have. Speech off. 
the speech on. Oh, that's better. Shit, must have been pretty big if I could make out that there was something on the screen. <laughs> that must have happened when my screen fell down. Too funny. You know, it wouldn't be one of my videos unless something went wrong. Talk to you soon. Well, ellipsis, first things first. Got to stay in one piece if I'm going to look. Talk to you soon. Just a message. Ash is running. Oh, ellipsis, Moldy. After I exited the administration chambers, I saw my wolf pup coming towards it. Descriptive help. Button. Music player. Button. Descriptive help. The time crest yield bank assigns wolf pups to each mage that deliver our daily pay. I'm a beginner, so I get paid 50 gold. Wolf pups are taken care of by the guild bank and return to once they've delivered our pay. Hmm. That's cool. They are not supposed to return to the guild bank without delivering our pay, but some wolf pups won't wait for their mages if they are feeling hungry. Do they deliver the newspaper too? Do they deliver it? No? Descriptive help. Button. Music player. Morty, though, has never abandoned me without my pay each day. I'm forgetful and don't always make it back to my room to collect until really late sometimes. Ellipsis. Hmm. I just wish for his sake, I kept better track of time. But with eternal days, there are no obvious visual indicators it's getting late. Oh, there's a pun there, too. Morty is really <laughs> slumping today. I guess it must be pretty late in the day. Ellipsis. I won't go there. He's gave my hand a few languid licks before turning around and... Ellipsis. Slumping away. Oh, poor doggy. Ash is waiting. A palish blue dust circles in the screen. I understand. Ash, one of four. Shame on you. Ash, letting the wolf pup start two of four responses. Button. Have you ever seen Ooh, stars? Four. Three of four responses. Button. How do you sleep with all that daylight? Four of four responses. Button. That's actually an interesting question. Descriptive help. Button. How do you sleep with all that daylight? Four. Have you ever seen? Shame on you. Ash, letting the. I understand. Ash. One of four responses. Button. Shame on you. Ash, letting the wolf pup start two of four responses. Yeah, I'm Button. gonna stick up for the little Morty here. Shame on you. Ash, letting the wolf pup start two of four responses. Shame on you. Ash, letting the wolf. I know. Ellipsis. Morty's my only friend of the guild. Ellipsis. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My poor little buddy. I'm a horrible person. I need to figure out a better way so Morty doesn't have to suffer because of my forgetfulness. Okay, ellipsis. Resuming my run to the library. Talk to you when I get there. Ash is running. 9 minutes 53 seconds. Alright. blue dust circles in the screen. Awaiting a message from the other I world. will end that here. Um, because I think it'll go way over time if I wait, um, that 9 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it for now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This was episode 3 of Let's Play Time Crest from a voiceover point of view. I am Cat Tiger, and the voiceover screen reader you heard was the Australian male Siri voice, also known as Lee. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Time Crest from a voiceover point of view. And. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this and would like to see more videos. I also review other voiceover accessible games. This is however the only Let's Play I have going right now. Um, also some technology that I can get my hands on. So yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take care and happy gaming. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Smiley emoji.